and welcome back to my channel and this is the getting back on track after post show depression because it's real yeah Hello, Marcia, for today i'm just back from a fantastic lunch with my dearest dearest friends look at this bruise from my brother oh my god this was black all last week for the show so it's only just relaxing now so hooray i'm going to meet a dear friend from the musical you may know him as cowboy Bob. look at the state of my tan Look at that, that is disgusting. Going for lunch, and then I'm going to a baby naming celebration, which is fantastic, which is really exciting. So I'm going to be getting dressed up and whatnot. You're gonna be coming with me for the next week or so, trying to get back on track because I have two big exams coming. I have to clean up my room. My room is totally, has not been cleaned since, I don't know when, got to study. So yeah, you're gonna come with me and we're going to try and get life back on track. Let's go. I will save you all the melodrama of how I haven't stopped crying all week. <laughs> it's actually so nice to get, I'm very sick as you can tell, but um, I have definitely been in my fields this week. Ah! And like the week has been really emotional. Ah, I'm in a glass case of emotion. Uh, Dervla and Lisa came to visit, which was so lovely and exactly what I needed. I went to my family friend's house last night. Ooh, we had a lovely dinner. She fed me. I was like, oh my God, this is like real food in the first few weeks. This is amazing. But it's time to get back on track now because a lot has happened, a lot of changes have happened. Definitely this week been really trying to fill the void so that I don't have to feel anything. Healthy. And I honestly couldn't tell you where all my tripods are, honestly. So I'm wearing this cha and I get some jeans on because the rain outside is actually chronic. Now will I go with hair like this or will I go hair like this? Final outfit. It's too wet. Like, look at the rain out there. It's actually disgusting. So I'm not wearing a skirt that I had planned. Editing me here. Hello. Um, I have a song coming called Empty Hallways. And you are about to witness Brendan hearing it for the first time in my car. I don't know why he reacted the way he reacted. Honestly, I think it's a sad bop. But he seemed to be having fun. So... Here you go. So pull me in and spit me out like only you know how. Been searching for some bravery since they down me down. For you know how it goes when there's nobody you call your own. And tell me when you find someone who feels like home. Just don't forget to tell me. Get your For days, I lost my old ways, lost the love I thought I knew at seventeen. 
Okay, cleaning is done. Time to exercise. I need to stop, I need to be stopped. to head down for a shower but Duolingo's dying ah! out of the shower feeling so much better after doing a bit of exercise so if anyone's feeling it go get some exercise and it, you will make yourself better gotta just do some life admin now I was gonna do some maths but there's no chance at quarter to nine tonight that I'm gonna get any maths done so I'm just gonna make a solid plan I've cancelled my Italian lesson for next week and I've cancelled kind of a lot of things to just really focus in on the maths I don't know if I'm going to get it done. It's not like me to say, yeah, I'll just be happy with a pass. That's not my MO at all. But for this time around, with everything that was going on, it'll be fine. I had a really nice day. We had some really good catch-ups. And I think by having the catch-ups after the musical, like especially today with Brendan and meeting friends for the baby shower, my home friends, my long-term friends as well. Not saying Brendan's not a long-term friend, but just um, the friends I've had since uh, forever. It just makes everything a little bit easier because I'm like, okay, it's not the end of the world. I can still make friends and we can still be friends and the, the world's not going to end because a certain few things are finished. So it is now a good time to remember that I haven't actually finished the song I'm recording for tomorrow. It's not finished. Head over head And I guess Love to watch the way you made me into You're on the vlog I'm vlog <laughs> I am vlog I am vlog <laughs> Right, go on, Al. are I you vlog? <laughs> the world of vlogging <laughs> Everything I didn't need until he left now I'm dancing around my living room I get drunk on the thought of you and I When you were mine See your eyes in every stranger I replay the way that we were till I'm high No, it's not right I miss you, missing me like you used to Yeah, like you used to I miss you, kissing me like Trying to decompress after a crap day is difficult. Practical exams are tomorrow and I just got bad news. Some of my kids aren't ready, not through lack of me trying. And it's frustrating because you kind of put everything into this. I'm worried about the consequences it's gonna have on me 
it's a selfish thing to worry about, but yeah, that's what happens when you're a teacher. You worry about what's going to happen to you if there's kids not ready for practicals. But anyway, I'm bad form. I just gotta walk it out, do maths, and then go for them. Yes, I'm in the same gym clothes as I was at the start of this video, but I washed them since, so shut up. The unglamorous part of getting back into your routine is actually sitting back at my desk again. I'm gonna do a calculus paper. I'm gonna, well, try and do a calculus paper, and I'm going to see how far that gets me. It's overwhelming how shut crap I am at maths. And I hate it, I hate being bad at things, and I hate not getting it straight away, and it's frustrating, and I know myself, I've been putting it off for weeks now, because I know that I'm not gonna do well in this, but I have to keep pushing on. I'm just so in my head today. I've set the treadmill up across from me here, so that way I can keep looking at it and be like, this is my treat. Like, how sick, how messed up in the mind do I have to be to think that a run is my treat? That goes to show you what how hard it is to get back in routine again. And I think it's difficult because you have decided for weeks, I'm not gonna follow a routine, I'm gonna do what I want. And it's been so cool. Getting back into discipline again is very difficult, but yeah. I can do it, come on, you can do it. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. I'm looking at the questions here and I can't do it. Oh, no, it's actually been an hour and a bit now of maths and it makes me projectile cry or I'm hate not being good at something. I just oh, I feel like such a loser. I feel like such a loser. I keep learning it the hard way. You can't throw everything at yourself on a Monday and expect yourself to be fine. I made the decision that I'm not going to Italy in the summer with Educo this year, just merely for the fact that I'm staying to save money and obviously to kind of try and push this music career when I kind of am enjoying it. I'm gonna write down every main point. I'm gonna find another little copy. And I did it before my religion and music exams. So I'm gonna find a little copy I'm gonna write down the main points and just focus on the main points and then tomorrow go again on the papers. I think it's the problem of being a perfectionist. You just really, really want to do everything really well. And that's just not the case sometimes. You just can't do everything really, really well at the same time. Anyway, so bye. I was overwhelmed, so I bought a coloring book and 40 something colors and I'm gonna color. So I did it. I emailed the college for the maths and asked them, can I defer for the year? Or do I need to give up the course? Cause that right now, with the stress I'm feeling, I can't walk into an exam. I actually can't, I can't walk into an exam on Saturday. And I like, it's not even that I can't understand the notes. It's that my brain just won't give me a chance. I'll sit it down and I'll go into a panic attack. So with everything happening next year anyway, it probably would be best to defer and do a load of little courses. And like, if I could do another course somewhere else, it'd be great. But like, maths is not my strength. And I hate that the big grudgers, the people who told me I couldn't do it, were right. But it, I'll see what happens. I'm very emotional. Like honestly and truly, what's the point worrying about something that's happening on Saturday when today is Wednesday? Who knows what's gonna happen between now and Wednesday? Okay, so I have decided and I feel okay with the decision that I am going to not do the exams, either exam, on Saturday and I'm going to just do the repeats in August and that way it'll give me some time that if I want to keep continue doing it or not, that'll be fine. I'm just too, I'm actually too tired to care. Is that awful? Is that awful? I think it's awful. Getting back in a routine. What a funny concept. I've said it so many times on this channel and I probably will say it a million other times as well. Every time we make a plan, the universe laughs. Every time we set out a goal, something gets in the way. The last few weeks for me, which I can't really discuss in great detail yet, have been one massive decision after one massive decision after one massive decision. And although this maths course isn't 
the biggest decision I've made in the last few weeks. I definitely am totally decision fatigued. But I think for me, looking back on this routine, the old me would be very proud of myself because when I was younger, I always used to thought I had to do absolutely everything. I finally am learning how to prioritize, prioritize my health and prioritize in a way that will make me a better person. Routine itself demands discipline, but also demands creativity to continue with your routine. I'm always trying to finish these videos on some form of higher note and this week I just don't have one and that's okay too. The end of the week when you reflect it's not meant to be full of things that have been done but more maybe things you haven't done and how that's benefited you. So although I did feel like a loser for majority of this week I just feel a bit I want to say that I'm proud of myself for getting on track again and trying my damn best. Make sure you keep your head in the clouds, but always land on your feet. Pull me in and spit me out like only you know how. Been searching for some bravery, some faith I need it now. For you know how it goes when there's nobody home but the light.